Hey guys, so this is going to be a follow-up to the previous video where I talked about solving all of these derivative problems in MATLAB, okay? So in the previous video we solved problems 1 through 5 and then today we're going to continue off of that and then go from problem 6 all the way to the 10th problem which is going to wrap up this lesson, okay? So nothing too complicated here. Um, as always, I'm going to define my variable in MATLAB, so now we're doing problem number 6. So I'm going to do sims x, which is pretty much going to tell MATLAB to treat my x's as a variable every time it sees it, okay? And then after doing this, I'm going to define my f of x function, and we're doing problem 6, by the way. So that's going to be f equals inline open parentheses, single quotation, and then I'm going to start typing in my problem. So I've got a cotangent, open parentheses, 6 times x, close parentheses, close single quotation marks, comma, and then my variable is going to be x, hit enter, and then now we're going to differentiate this using the diff operator. So it's going to be diff, open parentheses, f of x, and then we're going to differentiate this with respect to x, okay? And that's going to be your derivative. And then let's see if we can simplify this further. So you could do collect um, answer, where MATLAB is going to collect all the like terms, so nothing, nothing here. And then you could also do the, you could use the pretty function, and that's going to make your expression looks slightly nicer, but it's not going to really do much here. Okay, so that was problem six. And then let's talk about problem seven. So as always, I like to have a clean workstation. So I'm going to clear everything and then start over. So Sims, Sims X is going to tell MATLAB to treat every time it sees an X as a variable. And then here is the here is the important part here. We're dealing with a natural log, but if I type in ln into MATLAB, it's not going to realize it. There is no operator for ln, ln in MATLAB, okay? So instead, I'm going to type in log, okay? And I'm going to discuss this further as we go to the ninth problem, but you, you just have to know that when you type in log into MATLAB, that's going to be log base e, okay? So essentially, the log function in MATLAB is going to be the same as your natural log, okay? So your calculator, you know, your TI-84 calculator probably has like an LM button where you can, you know, convert to like natural logs. And the regular log button is going to be based on base 10. But for MATLAB, every time you type in a log, you're talking about log base E, okay? So just, or, or the natural log. So. So just keep that one in mind. So if I type in log, I'm pretty much referring to the natural log. Okay, I hope this is making sense. All right, so I'm going to do f equals inline open parentheses. And then now I'm going to do log. Again, the log function in MATLAB is going to represent the natural log. Okay, and then it's going to be ln. Um, I've got x. Let's see, I've got x times. Um, and then for the... For the e, for, for, for e, we're going to type in exp, okay? For the exponential functions, we're going to type exp, and that's going to represent e, okay? If I just go in there and type in e, it's not going to do it, okay? MATLAB's not going to know what I'm talking about. So exp is pretty much going to represent e, and then that's going to be 7 times x, okay? So that's going to pretty much tell me that it, e is going to be raised to the power of 7x, and then close your parentheses. Why, why do I have a single quotation mark there? I don't need that. Close parentheses and then close your quotation mark. And then we're gonna, we're gonna define your variable, which is X, close parentheses, hit enter. And then with these slightly challenging expressions, you just have to make sure that what you have here is kind of matching with the problem that you're given, okay? So we have f of x equals log, which is natural log in MATLAB. We just talked about this. And then that's going to be x times. So the exponential, we're talking about e here. And then that's going to be 7 times x, okay? So every time you want to represent e in MATLAB, you're going to write exp, okay? Just keep that in mind. And then, all right, so we're going to do diff, which is going to differentiate my f of x function. So 
we're going to say diff f of x with respect to x and then there that's going to be my answer and i think we can simplify this so i'm going to do collect which pretty much you know collects all the like term and tries to simplify the expression for us and there we go okay and then you could also use the pretty function on on this one and then now it's going to make it look slightly nicer so you've got your final answer is 7x plus 1 divided by x for that derivative okay and that does it for problem 7 let's go on to problem 8 again i like to have a clean workstation so i'm going to clear everything and then i'm going to say sims x and then f equals inline open parentheses and then i have a square root so sqrt that's the operator for typing square roots and then open parentheses x squared plus eight close parentheses close quotation marks and then comma x is my variable and then just make sure that what you have matches the expression that you're given which it does so now i'm going to do diff and then I'm going to differentiate my f of x function with respect to comma, with respect to x, enter, and there is my answer for that problem, okay? So that was problem eight, and then again, if you want, you could try the collect and the pretty function just to see, you know, if, if, if the expression can be simplified, and then if you want it to look nicer, you could do that, okay? So problem number nine is pr probably going to be the trickiest problem in this whole set um, and then I'm gonna I'm actually gonna talk about this in some more detail here so problem number nine with the logarithmic derivatives if you remember okay so the formula I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys a formula to calculate that so the the, the hand way you know if you were to do this problem by hand you would differentiate the problem whatever is inside your logarithm and then it's going to be all over whatever that expression is. I'm just going to call it u. And then it's going to be times ln of whatever your base is. I'm just going to call it your base x. Okay. So the problem with MATLAB is it doesn't have any other bases besides base 2 and base 10 as far as logarithms. Okay. And to take a derivative of a function in MATLAB, you can't really do the whole, you know, change of base thing where, you know, you convert, you know, your base to, to be to be represented as a base 10. It's going to screw up the whole problem. So we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to keep it as base 10. And then just remember, when your problem is solved, your your final your final base is going to be whatever you're given. So in this case, that's going to be base 5. OK, so that's going to be base 5. Actually, I'm going to solve this problem by hand first and then go to MATLAB. This is the trickiest problem of the entire set. So I'm going to grab a black pen. And then if I were to do this by hand, so pretty much I'm going to follow my formula here. So I'm going to differentiate whatever I'm given here. So 3x squared plus 4x, the derivative of that. So I'm differentiating that so the derivative of that is pretty much going to be so you bring the two down so that's going to be six x and then you take one off from the power so it's going to be six x and then derivative of four x that's that's just going to be four so i'm just going to leave four here and then it's going to be all over whatever is inside of your logarithm so our function was three x squared plus four x and then it's going to be times the natural log of what's your base. So that your base is going to be 5. Okay. So that's how you would solve this problem by hand. And then if I go back to MATLAB and then if I do sims x, I'm telling it to treat x as a variable. And then I'm going to do f equals inline open parentheses. And then here's the thing, as I explained to you guys, MATLAB doesn't have a base five, okay? And you can't use the log, you know, the change of base formula for the for derivatives. You know, if you were to do this, you know, if you were given some problem, you know, log base five of, I don't know, like 200, you could do the whole change of base log formula and then calculate, calculate it. But if you're doing derivatives, you can't do that, okay? So F equals inline 
and then I'm gonna treat this as a log 10 so that's gonna this this operator right here is telling MATLAB to treat this as a log base 10 and not a natural log okay so that's super important okay and then it's gonna be a log base 10 open parentheses and then I'm gonna type in my function so that's gonna be 3 times x squared plus 4 times x and then close parentheses and then do these uh, close my quotations and then do my variable which is x hit enter and then if you do diff f of x differentiate f of x with respect to x that's going to give you your result and then i'm of course going to make this look pretty so you guys can see this better so if you if you look at the problem here and then go go back to my whiteboard we have 6x plus 4 all over just ignore that log 10 for a second all over whatever you're 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 you're, you're given so that was the entire problem and then here's the thing so matlab is telling you log 10 which is whatever the base that you know we, we initially started with but remember if your problem told you that was your base was base 5 or whatever base you need to change that otherwise you're going to get the wrong problem okay wrong answer so if you started with base 5 just make sure that your natural log here is going to be on base 5 okay if this is confusing drop a comment and then i'll i'll get back to you okay and then for the last problem i'm going to clear everything so the last problem is pretty much like a um, arc sine problem arc, arc sine derivative so I'm going to say sims x and then I'm going to do f equals inline open parentheses single quotation and then to represent like an inverse sign or an arc sign you're going to say a sign and that's telling MATLAB that this is like an inverse sign or like an arc sign okay so it's going to be arc sign and then what do we have here we've got 2 raised to the power of x close parentheses close quotations x is your variable close parentheses hit enter and then differentiate your f of x function with respect to x and there that's going to be your answer for the final derivative and then let's see if there is anything for this problem to be simplified further uh, it doesn't look like it so we're going to do pretty now and then there that's your final answer for the for the last derivative problem okay so again nothing too overly complicated here just be careful of that whole log situation and you guys should be good um, if you have any questions or if this is not clear enough let me know and then I'll make a separate video and I'll go over all the log functions so you have a better understanding on this on this topic okay all right, that's gonna do it for this prob uh, for this video, and then it's also gonna wrap up the derivatives, you know, problems series on MATLAB for my channel, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.